protecting students and staff during the school day has always been top priority, but following some recent school shootings, the need for enhanced safety measures has amped up. News Channel 3's Marley Penchock shows us Cabell County Schools is finishing up the process of installing an added layer of protection inside every classroom. Not budging on school safety. So let's say we have an intruder in our building. The principal would get over the intercom after identifying where they're at on our camera system, get on the intercom and announce where the intruder is at in the building. So if they're close to this particular hallway or this classroom, um, they're going to choose to barricade as opposed to evacuating. So they simply get into this night lock box up here. It's always beside the door. Grab this piece of angle iron. As you can see, it's got the various slots here. Line it with the slot on the back of the door. Let it go. So within seconds, you've barricaded your door. These night locks are being installed inside every classroom throughout the Cabell County School District. This particular device uh, kind of gives us a little bit more insurance um, that somebody's not going to get through the door to our kids. And when it's used in conjunction, with the uh, door locking mechanism, it takes 2,000 pounds of pressure to actually bust through this door. An added layer of protection. Statistically speaking, in most cases, if a, um, uh, a person that has a nefarious reason to come into a building to do something bad, once they encounter a door that's locked or secured in some way, they move on to the next one. They're just like water. They seek the path of least resistance. Staying one step ahead to make sure students and staff are safe in the classroom. Marley Pinchock, WSAZ, News Channel 3, Cabell County. Tim Cooper says all night locks should be finished by tonight. They're going to do a walkthrough following the completion and talk to each principal to make sure that nothing has been missed.